Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mega Museum's Mint Off Card, where we take a look at the latest in retro figures. I'm excited to do this week's episode because it's another in the Super Friends series by Figures Toy Company. If you follow this show, you know I'm a great big fan of the Super Friends and of this figure line. I've been very impressed with what Figures Toy Company can do with the animated style. And last month, they released a whole bunch of new Super Friends characters, including Darkseid, Desaad, Calabac, Salivar, and of course, our subject, Giganta. Now, I could only choose one figure this month, and I had you guys vote on it on Twitter. I was choosing between Salivar, Giganta, and uh, Vapor Man from the Galaxy Trio. These are characters that I want to purchase. And you guys unanimously voted for Giganta, and that's a good thing because as a person who runs the Mego Museum, I read all the feedback you guys give, and Giganta comes up again and again over the last couple of years of people really wanting this figure, heavily anticipating it. So she's really welcome. And I knew they were taking their time with it because they wanted to figure out the character a little bit. As you can see, they kind of did something different to showcase the difference in scale and size. Giganta was depicted as a rather large woman, and to put her just on a regular female body would have been a little strange and kind of chintzing out. So right off the top, I, I kind of applauded this different approach to the figure. The other thing I'm excited about with this figure is they have completed the Legion of Doom for me. I need no further characters to complete the villains in the Challenge of the Super Friends. And that's a good day. So anyways, let's rip this lady off the card and see what she's made of. So this is Giganta. I want to start this off by saying that if Figures Toy Company had have just done the bare minimum and popped a you know a red head onto a regular girl body, I would have bought it. I needed to complete my Challenge the Super Friends line. I would have probably shrugged my shoulders and went, eh, it's close enough, and not done a mint-off card about this character. But what they did, and what I'm impressed with, is they created an entirely new torso, one that I don't know where they're ever going to use again, and that's dedication, to simulate the look of this character. She is a larger-sized woman, and they have done a really great job of this. They've, you know, Obviously, they've used some male parts, but she was very muscular. Well, this is a very feminine-looking creation in the same regard, and I'm quite impressed with this dedication to get the scale right. I mean, Mego collectors were kind of used to everyone being the same height. And this is kind of a nice step, a nice touch, if you will. I've always been something of a fan of Figure Toy Company's uh, take on animated characters. 
And I would have to say that this is, again, another reason why I really like her. I'm glad to finally finish my Legion of Doom. Can't wait for Hawkman. Can't wait for Solovar. I'm, I'm in. This is, this is one of my favorite lines that they've done. Are you a big fan of the Super Friends from Figures Toy Company? You can let me know in the comments below. Or in our Facebook group, Migomania, where 6,000 other Migo collectors want to talk to you. And of course, we've had the long 20-year running Mego Museum forums, which are still very active. And you can visit them at MegoMuseum.com. Thank you as always for watching. I hope if you're new to this, you'll consider hitting like and subscribe. I do this every week. Until next time, take care, be well, and buy what you like. Talk soon.